what the heck? Who's messaging me this? What's up, guys? Recently, I finished watching Steins Gate. All I knew about this series was it was about time travel, my favorite thing in the anime sphere. So, here are my thoughts. Starting off with the characters. The first thing I will bring up about the show is it was made in 2011, and it's important to remember that I'm reviewing this in 2023, so my opinions are going to be based off now versus then. The characters were fine for the most part. Even though the characters were kids, which doesn't necessarily ruin a story for me, they felt like adults, and I can surely appreciate that darker feel towards the story. It felt more serious, especially not seeing the main character get grounded by his parents for exploding their microwave. Speaking of, Rintaro was a great protagonist. We feel his despair right from the beginning of when the action starts, and his resolve to help everyone around him is of course energizing. He's a good character and an important one for the story, which will make the story live or die for you. But overall, I liked him. Except when, oh, I don't know when he wasn't. There are one or two scenes in which it felt extremely uncharacteristic to do. This might be just the bad writing, I don't know what else, but... <laughs> Ah, oh, oh god, stop my eyes! Listen, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you he's a perfect character. That needs to be able to save the world, etc, etc. But why? Why do you have to do it to her, bro? What the flip? Now we're gonna be talking about the animation, and oh boy, I am not gonna sugarcoat it. The animation was awful. Steins Gate had absolutely no hues slash colors or anything like that. It was plainer than a dang chessboard. Like, god dang, the only thing that would catch my eye in any of these scenes was the fat guy's hat. And this especially doesn't help when most of these episodes are spent in the same apartment. I will say it here, Steins Gate Zero 100% fixes or maybe mends this issue, but the original was awful awful animation so here it is the story arguably the most important part of the anime i'm gonna keep this nice and short because none of you will last hearing my take i wasn't a huge fan of the story okay i think it spent enough time explaining the butterfly effect each trip had as well as the importance of the timelines uh staying intact not to mention it set up the, uh, the world building for all these agencies and world leaders doing whatever they can to get the power of time travel my biggest gripe with the story was i had no significant feelings for any of these characters all of them served the purpose for moving the story along slash providing an obstacle within the story for Huyen. The only character who doesn't do this is Rintaro, because he can't bother himself. I liked Rintaro. Again, I don't think he was awful, just boring for the most part. But Mother Flipper went from psychotic scientist mode all the way to boring mode and only went back to make things right again, which is when the anime got interesting again. Like, god dang, anime was only good when he was crazy. And I just want to point this out, because it's 2023. The anime took 12 episodes to actually start the story, which I'm sorry, but if it's not the, if the first episode is not amazing 10 out of 10 you lose me and that is my another huge gripe with this show like it took 12 episodes to start and i wish i was lying and yeah nothing else comes out and pulls on my heartstrings i'm gonna draw conclusions from what uh from the shows i was talking about before but both the main characters going through so much suffering felt more emotional as we watched them cry multiple times change and thrive throughout all of the story's wrenches I really didn't feel that in Steins Gate. I don't know if it's 100% due to the other saturation of all the other series I've seen, or just some time bias, but yeah, I just didn't like this show. Hopefully some people can write some comments explaining their perspectives, because I didn't find this anime at all inspiring. Let me know what you peeps think, and uh, I'm back, baby, I'm back! Oh snap, none of you are ready for the Agent return, bro, a weekly video is here we go! Y'all better get ready for this, because I'm coming back with the ball rolling! Let's go, let's do this, and I'll see you guys next week, goodbye. Holy crap!